Hello there, and welcome to another Starfa video. Today we're going to be taking a look at five unique weapons you can buy from the various vendors in Fallout. Obviously there's more than five weapons, but I've compiled this list of five weapons that I think are quite interesting, and ones that you definitely should check out. So we're going to start off at number one, and the, the first weapon we're going to be looking at is Acid Rain. So in order to get this weapon, um, you come here to the well, where uh, we are now. We're in the well on New Atlantis in Jemison. Uh, <clears throat> inside the well, you're going to see Apex Electronics. You come in here, and uh, you don't talk to this guy here. You talk to this gentleman here, Vincent. And you talk to him, and eventually he's going to give you a little quest line. It's going to be a fetch quest. Unfortunate. And the fetch quest is just basically going to be like, we need you to go from this location to that location. Pretty simple. Bit shady, you know, if you're a bit uh, a bit morally ambiguous. So yeah, you just got to pick up a package, bring it to the Red Mile. We're going to really quickly do that, and then we'll uh, show you what it unlocks. Alright, so we're back here now. We've picked up his package, and now we're going to give it to him. And then upon doing that, he's now going to open for business, and he's going to open his little door. On the door. Oh, apparently that door is not good. Now we can see what he has for sale. Okay, he, this guy is kind of similar to uh, Mick and Ralph from uh, from Fallout New Vegas, where you have kind of one of them who's like, "Oh, I'm gonna sell you stuff." So we come in here to his. Come on in. Let me see what you got for sale. All right. And the weapon we're gonna be looking at is here. It is Acid Rain. So this is a unique Grendel. Um, it has a unique color scheme, as you can see, and, uh, it costs 10,000 credits. Now, that price will vary depending on how many, uh, what sort of perks you have. But the main thing with it is it's got corrosive damage, which means it randomly deals corrosive damage and reduces the target's armor over six seconds. So, yeah, that's the first weapon. We're going to really quickly jump now and kind of showcase it in action just to show you how it works. Alright, so here we are in the usual spot where I like to shoot. I'm going to really quickly turn on... Um, turn on the, where is the interface. Okay, we got damage numbers on. Perfect. So the reason I put this on the list is because it's a quite unique looking weapon. I mean, in this game where you're quite limited on your customization of your weapons and how they look aesthetically, having a green and black weapon is pretty badass. Also, it's it's kind of got that vibe of it's like kind of a space, like it's like a PDW. I'm playing on very hard difficulty, um, and as you can see, it's uh, it's quite good. It's you know it's it's an SMG, even though it's not an SMG technically, it's a rifle, but it's meant to be kind of an SMG role in it. The uh, the reduction in armor is quite handy. So if we for the target. So as you can see, the, uh, against high-level enemies on very hard, it's, it, it's definitely viable. Now, this thing kind of burns through ammo a little bit, so you have to make sure you have a lot of it. All in all, though, it's a pretty cool weapon if you're looking for kind of, like, you're looking for your unique, like, kind of sidearm for your captain kind of roleplay situation. So, yeah, this is the first weapon on the list. Now, we're going to head and look at the second one. All right, so for the next... Simeon, relax. For the next weapon, we're here in Neon. So, Neon, as you, if you've been here, Neon is, um, it's on Voli Alpha. There it is there. And we're going to come to Neon Tactical here. Excuse me. I said excuse me. And we head in here, and we have a cool little robot, and, uh, we got this guy called Frank. Frank is your, kind of, your premier gun seller. So we're going to see what his inventory and the weapon we're looking for, because he sells a couple, but the weapon we're going to be looking for is the Boom Boom. So here it is here, the Boom Boom. Explosive, it's a rare shotgun. Um, explosive, randomly switches to explosive rounds. Now the reason I kind of highlighted this weapon is because this is quite a good shotgun, and it's uh, quite a good kind of sidearm style shotgun. It's quite small, as you can see. And uh, the explosive rounds just make it that much kind of more interesting. So if you want to buy this, it's going to cost you 20,000 credits, depending on perks, which for a newcomer, that's going to be pretty, you know, tricky to get. But when you're kind of halfway through the game and stuff, that's like one um, POI clearing if just taking everything. 
So we're going to really quickly jump now, and we're going to showcase it in action. All right, so here we are. Now, obviously, these guns are unmodified. You can modify them more if you want to kind of make them better, but I'm just showing the base weapon. As for most of these weapons, I don't have any real perks kind of affecting the weapons. Uh, this character is just kind of a pistol build. As you can see, explosive rounds are uh, explosive. So if we, uh... As you can see, when the explosive round hits, it's like, god damn. And again, this is kind of a... It kicks quite a bit just because it's it's pretty much like a, pi a shotgun pistol. It's no Mozambique, but it's it's pretty good. <clears throat> and obviously the explosive rounds are quite good. Now you can spec into uh, the explosives perk, like in Fallout, uh, Fallout 4, where it will increase the kind of the damage of that explosive, and you can also spec into shotguns. And you could have this. This is a very good kind of sidearm for your kind of your role playing, kind of a. A shotgun wielding badass and the big thing with this weapon is you can spam fire it which um yeah if you're uh let's this thing yeah it's it's pretty insane it's like hands down one of the best kind of uh rare or unique weapons in the game when it comes to getting shotguns at least from a kind of a destructive point of view anyway we're gonna look at the next weapon on the list now all right, so weapon number three, we are here on the key station. Um, so the key is, uh, where's the key? The key is here. It's uh, in the Crick system. This is home of the Crimson Fleet. So if you're going to want to get this weapon, you're going to have to at least gotten to the point where you kind of get to the Crimson Fleet. And we're going to come over to this woman here, Aludra. Aludra. Hello, Aludra. And she has a weapon we're looking for called the Fury, which we're going to find that real quick. There it is. The Fury, uh, it's going to cost you around 32k, depending on perks, probably a little bit more. So the Fury is your standard. It's an old school uh, AK rifle, but it has the Furious perk, which each consecutive hit deals more damage. Uh, this is probably the best rifle in the game, just in terms of, you know, finding one with base perks. Furious is really, really good on any sort of an automatic weapon, especially one where you can kind of mitigate the recoil or control the recoil. So we're going to really quickly check it out, show you how it works. All right, so here we are with Fury. By default, it comes with 100 rounds of the mag, which is very nice. Again, unmodded. Unmodified, rather. So we're going to hit him once. We're going to show the damage increase. So it's 36, goes up to 42. Obviously, when you miss, it resets. So it starts off at 36, jumps up to 39, seems to be the cap. Obviously, the damage will depend on the character you're shooting at. Because higher level enemies will have more. But as you can see, this thing will absolutely shred targets. <clears throat> Furious was always one of my go-tos for uh, in Fallout 76. I used to love getting myself a Furious minigun. Or, yeah, just because it was insane. Um, what is it called in this? Is it called Furious? Uh, yeah, it is still called Furious. Some of the... Some of the names are the same from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76, but obviously some they've kind of changed, which I don't know why, but you know, it is what it is. So as you can see, this thing is an insane... If you're looking for a kind of a rifle, especially if you're looking to kind of roleplay as a, a kind of a... a captain or a, a kind of just a guy who likes the kind of the old-fashioned weapons, you know, maybe you want to roleplay as a... a hardy rusky. This is kind of the gun to go with. Obviously, you can you can kid whatever you want. I'd probably uh, remove the uh, drone mag just because you can see the reload time is a bit... Just a bit too much for my liking. 100 rounds is very nice, though. But, uh... And again, the recoil is minimal. It gets the job done. Anyway, on to the next weapon. Alright, so this weapon we're going to be looking at... It's a bit situational on the list. Um, so this is the fourth weapon. This is called the Vampire, or, um... Vampire's Kiss, I believe. No, Gift. Vampire's Gift. So, to get this weapon, you have to progress through the Vanguard quest line with the UC until you get to this location on uh, Mars. And then once you do, you come to this gentleman called Lieutenant uh, Galter Az Azvedo. I do apologize. 
And he's, he sells a couple of weapons, but one of the ones we're looking for is the Vampire's Gift. And the reason with this is because it has a med theft. So chance the humans drop extra med packs on death. Now, on its own, you might think, well, Crimson, that's kind of a meh perk. And to be honest, it is, depending on the difficulty you're playing. Like, if you're playing on very hard, where meds are kind of difficult to come by, this is a really good one to have. Not to mention, this rifle, <clears throat> the Kodama, is a very powerful rifle. So even though it doesn't have any, like, it doesn't have Furious, or it doesn't have, you know, any of them, med theft is really good. So if you're early game, and, you know, you're playing the game, and you're having a difficulty finding med theft, or finding meds in general, I would recommend kind of making a beeline for the Vanguard quest line. Do this, just to get it. I feel like this will also be very valuable when it comes to um, when it comes to survival mode. So if you want to buy it, it's going to cost you 17k, 18k with perks. Without perks, probably going to cost you a little bit more. But again, that's not too bad. So now we're going to go check it out. All right, so let's check it out. So normally when I kill these guys. Um, they rarely drop meds, these characters. Uh, meds in general are quite rare, depending on the perks you have. So we're going to just kill them, and we're going to... Oh, what is the burst perk? So that guy had no meds. That guy okay, uh, no meds as well. Now, I will say this is, this is random, obviously, you know. The chance of it kind of dropping, it just kind of increases it. But as you can see, this weapon in itself is insane. Now, knowing my look, I'm gonna get extremely unlucky with the uh, with actually getting the uh, the weapon or the meds to proc. But it is, <clears throat> trust me when I say that, when you're trying to basically play. A character like on harder difficulties like I'm playing up very hard now and I have some pretty good gear on but even then like I'll burn through meds left right and center and obviously just the ability to kind of get more meds is useful come on now show me that the perk works well that's not what I wanted We're gonna we're gonna clear out everyone just to. This is one of the one of the issues with um <clears throat> when it comes to like uh, legendary stats in like in this game and it was kind of the same in in um, 76 to an extent, like you didn't really know what specifically like like the perk says for vampires gift it says uh chance the humans drop extra med packs on death, so obviously when they drop one originally it's gonna drop the next one now. That's going to depend heavily on specific enemies and stuff like that. But all in all, like I said, I think it's it's a good one to have just because the weapon itself is pretty powerful. And I kind of am a big fan of the Kodama. It's got that space vector vibe. I like that you can, you can have a version without the stock. The stock's kind of folded away. And obviously, you could make it full auto, which if you did make it full auto, it would be... Uh, more devastating. Also, this shoots flechette rounds. Which, uh... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ha! -ha. Crop back. Nice. So, like you see, it, it's like... I was. I'd say, like, maybe one every ten enemies, maybe one every fifteen enemies will drop a med pack, but it's... It's good enough, you know? Like, obviously, on the higher difficulties, it's just nice to have. If you're playing a lower difficulty... And maybe you just like having meds, then it's definitely good to go with. Anyway, we're going to look at the last weapon on the list. Alright, for the last weapon, we are in the UC Distribution Center. Um, which is on Jameson. We're here in the... Uh, whereabouts are we? We're not in the Mass District, just by the sake. We're in the uh, Commercial District. And you're going to come in here. I'm going to talk to this lady behind the counter, Miss Wen Sang. And the first time you talk to her, she'll always do this big spiel about, oh, we, we don't sell ships. But we're gonna we're gonna push past that. And it shows a couple of unique weapons, which I'll probably cover in a future video. But the weapon we're looking for is the rapid shot. So this is uh, a rare shotgun. It's the breach shotgun, and it has the perk uh, 25 increased attack speed. Now, this shotgun in a specific setup is very, very, very powerful. 
I did a review on the shotguns um, back a couple of weeks ago. And one of the things people were saying in the comments was the breach with slug rounds will absolutely devastate people. So if you want to buy this, it's going to cost you around 23k, depending on perks. A little bit more if you perks. So let's go check it out, shall we? Alright, let's go do it. So like I was saying, if you were to kit this out with slugs, it would be way more useful. But we're just going to show the base variant, just to kind of highlight and uh, the extra fire rate is really, really nice, on a, especially on a shotgun. Like, this shotgun itself, it isn't rapid fire. But the big bump in fire rate, like, this thing absolutely shreds. And I love how it looks. Like I said, if you're, uh, if you're interested, uh, I have done, like, a series on covering uh, a lot of the weapons in the game. I've done uh, rifles, shotguns, pistols, all sorts. I didn't cover every single weapon. I just kind of highlighted uh, a lot of the weapons I was interested in from an aesthetic point of view or from a kind of gameplay point of view. Now, um, <clears throat> if you want to check that out, it's on my channel. So as you can see, this this thing is insane. Like, if you're looking for a proper shotgun build and you want to, or a sniper build, you put slug rounds on this and a kind of a low zoom scope, and you can absolutely shred. As you can see, the fire rate... Obviously, it's a shotgun, and currently we're not using slugs, so. But the fire rate alone is, is insane. And as a shotgun, it's quite, um, compared to other weapons, it's quite efficient when it comes to, you know, your damage per bullet sort of situation. You won't burn through ammo as much. Obviously, you'll burn through ammo more than a normal breach because that 25% fire rate. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a part two because there's a lot of unique weapons in the game that you kind of don't really know about unless you like stumble upon them uh, in in the vendors and stuff. So let me know uh, what you guys think of the weapons and uh, what's your favorite like, kind of rare weapon that you can purchase in the game. And yeah, as always, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this sort of content and check out some of my other videos. Oh, bye bye.